Are you a boarder? Well, today's model is in a community that gives you direct access to the community boat ramp that's going to be built right over here. It's a great model that I have for you. You won't have to pay the lake lot prices, but you have access to this beautiful lake right behind me. Let's check it out. Let's go. Hello, hello. Welcome to another episode of our Orlando Home Show where strategy matters, passion rule. Guys, I'm in this brand new community. I'm in East Orlando, a community with a lake access, with a deeded lake access to you. So if you are into boating, this is a great home in a beautiful community which is gated with oversized lot. As this model sits, it's about five bedrooms four and a half bathroom with a media room and a flex space. Now this can be built as a six bedroom, five full bathroom. So it is a two story home with a guest suite downstairs and the master upstairs. The base price on this is about $749.90. Now guys, this is a model home. So you're gonna have a lot of bells and whistles as this model sits, it's over a million dollars. Not to mention that the price of the lot is not included. So you're looking at about 1.1, 1.2 or so. So that's the price point with everything that you see in terms of the upgrades. Now, I get a lot of my clients, they're basically saying, hey, what is included? I have a featured list. So if you are interested in knowing, hey, for the base price, what do I get? Make sure to comment below and I'll be happy to show you. So as I walk in, this is the front door. I have this flex space right there, which is an office space. And as you can see, it has some upgrades with the extra lights, these little transoms. And then you have a big window, a lot of woodwork done over here. So it looks really pretty, but look at the size of this whole room. So it's very comfortable. And then right across from it, this is the hallway. And it has a lot of light and it's a beautiful day. It's a little bit cloudy, but you can see how much light that it brings in. You have this area right over here, again with the woodwork done. So this is kind of a semi-private dining. It just doesn't have that formal wall for the dining area, but this is what you have over here. You also have half a bathroom right across from it. So let me go ahead and show you that. So you have this little hallway or a little passage that leads you to the bathroom. So it's a half bathroom, pretty comfortable. So when you have guests visiting you, this is a space, you know, they, they, they can use the bathroom. Uh, so it, it is comfortable in that sense. And as I go in, the whole thing opens up with a little bit of a wine area right over here. And then as you go around, look at this beautiful island. I don't see something like this everywhere. Like I really like the shape of this island you know, and you have a really nice sink over here. It's a copper sink. And look at all the space you get over here. Now it does have upgraded appliances. The color of the cabinet is something that you'll get, but the style of the cabinet is different. It has KitchenAid appliances and an upgraded package in terms of what you see over here, but a lot of space indeed. Right over here, right behind this door is your three car garage. And since it is a builder model, I'm not gonna go in there. And then right over here is your pantry. Again, you know, it goes a little bit around the corner, so it is deep. But one thing that I do want to point out, which I have been seeing, I really love this area. Now, this is an upgrade. You don't necessarily have to get that, but this is something that you could, you know, do that, um, get an upgrade or do that later on. I like to look at things else, but as I go straight down, you know, I do get distracted every now and then. They got so many good stuff out there that I'm like, wow, where did they get this from? Where did they get that from? But you know, these are professionally decorated guys. So this is, you know, when you buy a house, you, you want to look at our videos because I go into a lot more detail so you can get ideas on how to decorate your house and everything along with it. Really nice backsplash. Now guys, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and do so because I bring you brand new models every single week. 
and I go into it a lot more detail than anybody else. So if you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and do so. Press that thumbs up button because we would like to do that. Now you have all this space over here. So you have this family living area with a little nook. And what I really like about this model is that you know how they have kind of separated. So you have an extended lanai at the back. I'm going to take you there in just a moment, but you have this section right over here. And then you have another section right over here with a little separation. But check this out, guys. They have this little space right over here. How cool is that? Look at this. How cool is that? Like this is a little workstation, if, if, I, if I may. You know, or if you have kids, they can do their homework while you're cooking. And they have this little, uh, you know, panels right there. This is a really nice upgrade. I really like it with a little closet over here. You do have a full bathroom. So if you build a pool, this is perfect because you do have an oversized lot. This specific lot is over 0.66 of an acre. Most of the lots in this community are half an acre or more. So look at this. You have a walk-in frame shower with the nice tile work done. Now I have done a model over here, which is a dockside model. I'm gonna go ahead and put that link so you can make sure that you can check that out also. And then this door while I'm here, let me go ahead and take you out so you can actually see what I was talking about. This is what I was mentioning to you, that this whole area, this is kind of extended lanai. It's a little bit more broader over here. And then your lot line goes all the way up to the fence over there. So it, it's a really big lot. So if you want to build a pool and then still have some room, you have that. The other thing that I didn't mention, which I'm going to show you is, is really cool. So let's go back in because I would like you to look at the bedroom that they have downstairs. Now it could be a mother-in-law suite. It could be another um, room. So let's go ahead and check this out. So you have this big room downstairs. And when I first saw that, I thought this was a master, but this is nothing like the master you see in this home. It is beautiful. So you have a big window right here, another big window right there, extra lights, and then you have the two sinks, vanity over here. Now it does have a walk-in shower with the frame, but uh, I think they're working on fixing a few things, so it's missing that. But look how much space you have with the tile work done over here. You have the transoms. You also have a walk-in closet right there the commode area over here, and then a small linen closet. So let me go ahead and take you upstairs for you to look at the other rooms. There is a lot of options that this house comes with in terms of uh, adding another full bedroom, another full bathroom. So it does give you a lot of options in that case. So let's go upstairs and let's check this out. So as I go upstairs, I do want you to look at the height over here. So you have about nine, four downstairs. And on your second floor, you have about nine. Look at all the ceiling, all the woodwork that's done, the extra lights. And then it does have a loft area. And this is your master. Check it out, guys. Isn't that beautiful? Look how deep is this? It has a little sitting area, but you know what? The best part is this. I absolutely love this. You know, where I am from, balconies are huge where I'm from. And having a space there, just sitting around, you know, if you have a lot that's overlooking the lake or you have a lot that's on the preserve side, just imagine yourself sitting here and you do get a little bit of wildlife here if there is conservation at the back. So imagine yourself. But what I also like in this bedroom is the separation right over here, you see? This is kind of a bedroom and this is an extension of the bedroom right over there. So you can have a TV or a little library or a study, or if you have a small child like I do, it could be a little nursery for that child over here too. Now this is your master bathroom. And the best part is that it has two separate vanities. I can't tell you that I love that part so much. Put in the comments below, guys, what do you guys think? Because do you like it, one vanity that has double sink area, or do you want a separate one? I personally prefer a separate one because uh, she takes over. I'm telling you, she does. So you have this uh, walk-in shower. It doesn't have the rain shower here as it did in their other dockside model that I did, but it's still pretty comfortable. You know, it does have nice shower head there and then another one there. And look at this, this is your commode area, but check this out guys. 
This is a room by itself. I know I will probably have only this much space while everything else would be taken, including the island with, for, by the lady of the house. Well, that's what it is. So as I take you around, you do have the laundry upstairs. You know, guys, if you have any specific questions about the models that I show you, feel free to reach out to me. You know, I'll be happy to help you, guide you in the process. And if you are looking to buy, you want to start the process now because I can't tell you how many of my clients, just because they wanted to wait, they're priced out, they're priced out completely. The biggest asset that you're gonna have right now is the lower mortgage rate that you can. So, so just think about that in that sense. Now look at this laundry space. You have so much space, you have a wash station. Now this is of course an upgrade. You know, this is something that you do not have to get that, but you can definitely look into it. And then around, now this actually goes around. So I'm gonna actually take you around and I'm gonna show you the loft area. And look at all this space, guys. You have all this space. Now, I have two small children and I would love a house like this because I can use this as a play area or a little, as they grow up, this could be our little retreat area with two boys, you know, so it's a boy's household at my place. You know, this could be a great area for them. Now, there is also a media room, which I'll get to towards the end of the video. You have a bedroom over here. I love the way they decorate. So you have this big bedroom, a lot of windows, a walk-in closet. So a good comfortable size walk-in closet. It's actually deep, so it kind of goes in a little bit right over here. And then you also have a Jack and Jill. So this bathroom actually connects to the other bedroom. And as my boys grow up, I think this would be perfect in that sense. So they have their own little wash area with, van with their vanity shower tub combination, beautiful work done in terms of the tile. You know, I really like when you have that tile all the way up, but then you have that little definition in between uh, and it just pops out, you know, let me know what you think. And then you have another bedroom and look at the size of this closet again, you know, pretty deep, you know, so my kids have a lot of toys. So this is a great space in terms of giving the space. And then you have this vanity area. So it's not your typical Jack and Jill where you have them right in the middle. It's kind of adjacent to each other. But look at all the space, the extra lights. I always tell my clients that you do that. Now guys, remember, I don't work for the builder. I'm an independent agent, so if you are looking, feel free to reach out to me. I bring you these videos to give you a lot of information, you know, in hopes that you will reach out to me so I can help you. I get paid by the builder, not by you, so it's absolutely free to use me. So if you have any questions, concerns, give me a buzz. Let's definitely connect. This is the other bedroom over here. Again, this home is just about 4,900 square foot. You know, just about, I think it's just a shy of few square foot in terms of the 5,000 square foot, but it's a big house. So it has a lot of uh, space. It does have a bathroom by itself and it's a walk-in bathroom. And as you can see, they have this tile. And what I was talking in regards to is this definition that you have. So a lot of space, if you have a family that is big, you have three or four kids, this could be fantastic. Now the room that I'm going to take you to is, to is a media room, but you can actually turn that into a bedroom. And if you decide to build a pool, you can actually have a full, um, actually it does have a full bathroom. So you don't have to worry about that part. But if you do decide, you know, you have half a bathroom, which I did not mention in the beginning. And then you have this double door. And you actually, the reason I say it's a bedroom because the definition of a bedroom is you have a closet, which it does. It has a nice size walk-in closet and it has the window right up front. But look at this, like you can get the theater chairs and you can wire this up, close this, put the blinds and curtain and enjoy the movie. Let me know what you think of this beautiful model. And if you are a border, you want to do a lot of things and you want land, which is kind of scarce right now, then this is a great community. It's a brand new community. They just kicked it off. They have lots there. There, You're not gonna be on a waiting list. You can lock in the price now and let it build, which could take anywhere from six to eight months. And guys, again, I can't tell you if you are in the market looking for a home in the next couple of months, you really, really want to start the process now because I see this and I know I say this more often and I say this 
to impress upon you that how challenging it is to find something within a decent price point in a great area, great neighborhood. This is a beautiful property. I look forward to connect with you. Thank you. Bye for now.